Hi, I'm Rob from Hops and thanks for joining me live here on YouTube. Yeah. And as you can see, <laughs> joined on this very, very sunny kind of northern evening with um with, with our lovely Peter, uh, the clueless drink. How are you doing, mate? How do not too bad. So thank you. How are you, Rob? Yeah, I'm pretty good now. I think I'll be I think I'll be miles better in about uh, three minutes' time. Well, actually, about thirty seconds, shall we say? Um, so oh, two beers that we've got tonight. Let, not much meandering at the start because I'm spitting feathers. <laughs> we've got um, two beers from Siren. Uh, we just, we both bought them. We didn't we didn't get sent them. We're not the privileged yeah. types. Um, um, so two beers that we're going to be looking at: suspended in cans and shattered dreams. So let's crack on with suspended in cans. So it's hazy pale ale at four yes. percent. So the kind of most recent iteration of the suspended kind of range, which um, I remember starting years ago. And I've, I've enjoyed all of the ones from it. And this is this one, uh, usually in keg only, the uh, suspended? I don't know. Or has it been in cans before? They've definitely done them in bottles. Maybe. I don't know if it's the first one in cans, hence. Or is, or is it going to be, what's it say? A rare opportunity to drink one of our most popular beers at home. All right, suspended. A soft, hazy, juicy pack full of hops. You reserve for pints in your favourite pub. There you go. Because I'm sure I have match. seen it. So about. Check the guile number at the bottom. You can check what you're drinking. Oh, so there's, an, there's a, a so you check oh, the guile number. Yeah. And uh, do you know what, Rob? I actually did that. Oh, what a, what a what a dude! So <laughs> it it basically just tells you what hops they've used yeah. because they uh, swap it out. So, so what's in today we've got E R U dash one or brew one. I'm not sure how that's pronounced. Uh, they've got Sabro in there, and Ooh, then Equinox. So where do you see the Gale number? Excellent. Gale number. I'll show you the Gale number at the bottom, it, on the bottom of the camera. Which one is that? Yeah. It's basically the uh, the G number. Oh, G1701. Uh, G1 yeah. Cool. So what was click it? on that. Yeah. Sabro, Equinox. And Brew-1. Oh, Brew-1, yeah. one. It seems to be in a lot of stuff at the moment, doesn't it? Especially with beers that often have Sabro in it. Anyway, without any fiver ado, let's have a look at that then. Look at that. It's got, I mean, it's only, it's what is it? Four, it's four percent. So you're not expecting it to be a big uh, yeah. like chunky monkey, are you? So it's, um, you can see through it just about. That. Yeah, it's got more of that sort of like a cloudy lemon juice almost. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, kind of that kind of orange, orange barley. Kind of orange barley sugar, yeah, kind of like thing. Slightly, yeah, definitely. Slightly opaque, yeah, definitely on the kind of lower end of haze for days, I'd say. I would agree. I got a, I got a waft of it then. And the first thing I thought thing. of was cheap orange squash, which is no bad thing, especially on a day like today. Not oh, much head on mine. What about you? Anything? Not much no, head? same here, pretty much. I'm just thinking I'm trying to replicate that kind of cask experience a little bit. Kind of, because it, it does kind of look a little, it does remind me a little bit of a cask. Maybe that's what they Hazy bit. Yeah. So, sniffing your scary, scary old schnoz. Oh, yeah. Not getting loads, I think I don't know about you. No, no, it's quite a reserved. It's definitely got, it's got that cheap orange cordial. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I'm not just okay. saying that. Yeah, it's a bit like Robinson's. Rob, yeah, absolutely. Not that Robinson's, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, maybe a bit of kind of like pineapple juice. Yeah. Because um, it's quite sweet, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Sweet citrus. It does smell like a, kind of like a 4% cascade. Yeah. Mm. I can't wait to oh, yeah, get it. So let's go for it. Cheers. Cheers, Rob. Cheers, everyone. Mm. Oh, I. Oh, that's nice. I more of that. Yeah. Perfect day, beer for a day mm. like today. It's got a nice bite to it, though. Mm. It does have that kind of cascade. Yeah, it is very that's reminiscent cool. of. It's got a nice sharpness to it as well. Not too mm. much. It's definitely got a kick. Yeah. 
of some sort. Yeah, once again, I'm, I'm getting that. Um, once again, orange cordial. I think it does follow through on the orange cordial. Yeah, very much orange cordial. Because then there's something slightly more, a little bit more sharp, a little bit more bitter as, as a fruit. Um, maybe not quite full on grapefruit, but it does have a grapefruit in the nose, especially in that for me, that lingers does a grapefruit as well. Yeah, yeah, it does. You get that more lingering right on the back end and it yeah. slowly builds up when you drink it. Yeah, yeah, it does dr dries out a bit. Getting a slight um, lychee flavour, which I've not had in a pale or an IPA for a, a long time. I, I really need to try lychee. I mean, uh, in, uh, last time I, I did it, that one was probably in um, was probably in um, Kuala Lumpur because they were just everywhere. So, but it's yeah. been a long time. I just I've always, always remember it like an eye, like an eyeball. I've got no. I mean, it's kind yeah. of flavor. Flavor yeah. memories are a funny thing. I think. I do kind of like. Oh, definitely. I do. A, I do a lot of eye rolling when I'm listening beer related podcasts. <laughs> when I'm, in reactions to flavor memories, it's like. What are you basing that on? Is it is it kind of like your kind of like rose tinted glasses kind of view of the past? Is it um, is it an ideal idea what you you have about this beer? Do you associate something strongly with this beer? So I don't know. I mean, I don't know what people kind of do that way. I mean, but oddly, as soon as we when you when we started talking about kind of the um, about the draft versions, I remember. I think. I I had a suspended in something when me and you went to Charlton in the second pub where the beer was in really bad condition. Oh yeah, wasn't that about sort of um? It was a pub restaurant, gastro pub sort of place. Yeah, they had dark yeah. arts. Yeah, and I had a, I had, a, I had, a, I had a suspended in something. It was pricey as fuck, and I think it had been yeah. sat in the lines. A bit yeah, early. It was I quite. Early. It was. It was like a Friday. It was quite early, but um, yeah, yeah. I remember that now. I'm sure that was a suspended. Maybe been susp some right. Some reason I'm thinking suspended in Simcoe, but maybe and go back through and check sense. that. Wouldn't that be an exciting <laughs> yeah. thing? Let's, let's do it live. No, not really. <laughs> <That'd be laughs> yeah. really Let's just we'll, shall we look back through my uh, sporadic use of Untap for the last yeah. <laughs> six months? God, that be that'll be an intriguing live show. So I'd like to draw your attention to um, my Untapped on May sixth. Are you funny you say that? Oh, uh, I was listening to uh, Richard Herring today. He was in interview. It's an old interview he did with um, with Limmy, and uh, oh, yeah. and Limmy was talking about doing his Twitch. Kind of things which are about like four hours long is Twitch because essentially, essentially that well at the time of the interview that was his job was just doing a Twitch broadcast. Um, and Richard Herring does loads of weird kind of podcast, um, one which is Stone Clearing podcast, which I don't know if you know about. No, no. Well, well, first one is uh, Me Too versus Me, Me, Me One versus Me Two, which is him playing pool no snooker against himself, <laughs> and uh, which he's been doing for a long time. Which he got invited, he got invited to um, like a, a, a subversive arts festival to do that, and loads of people were a bit kind of like <laughs> put off because they were like, oh, "This isn't subversive enough for me. No one's shitting on the floor or something." <laughs> and I'm uh, then, yeah, one kind of curtain, and good name for a beer. One kind of curtain, the um, <laughs> and. Yeah, and Richard Herring's other one is that um, he does um, a stone clearing, which is all, all based out of taking his dog for a walk. So I think there used to be a load of stones near the entrance. So he started kind of like picking the stones yeah. up and kind of re redistributing them so they, they aren't just all in one place. And he does a podcast about that. I've never listened to it because it sounds insane. Um, oh, but I was listening yeah. to that today. But so it's potentially one of them that we could just go. Um, so yeah, get, get an ASMR. Kind of like microphone thing, and just be like October second, two thousand eight. <laughs> Yeva Pilsner. 
no, 3.5. This is before the quarter ratings, and I've not got a full. Uh, a re, I've not got a full um, kind of one way you can do model the increments. Um, but I will. I will. I will refresh <laughs> that information in your mind every every entry. October 14th. <laughs> High wire <grapefruit. laughs> Fourth check in. Level seven badge. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. I, think, I, think, I think there's something in this. I might, I might get, and get steadily more drunk. This might be something in this. And um, yeah, I get steadily more hammered and see, see how far yeah. you can get. And by the end, she goes, oh, fuck off. That's not that like a good oh, idea. Just, just use it. all your stream yard <laughs> allowance on just one, <laughs> one stream. You reciting your untapped history and just getting pissed as you do it. <laughs> Might do that. <laughs> Bring on something there, Rob. Do it on Saturday. <laughs> anyway, <Yeah. laughs> I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna um, make relatively short work of this. I could easily just fucking do it. Do yeah, it. It's, yeah, it's going down the tree. Because mm. it wasn't that long ago I was at a point where lower ABV pails don't do much for me. I'd much mm. rather go up to an IPR double, but just. That's one of the really good things, one of the very few good things about the situation we, the situation we find ourselves in. It's given me just an excuse to try just regular sort of beers that they're, even that highly regarded breweries do on the, you know, all year round, just get back into core ranges and those beers that you remember having and not being too bowled over by and just... And look, so stuff like this has been an absolute treat for me this past couple of months. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Um, I, mean I was looking on the website early today, and it, I didn't, I didn't realise, but the Polly's beer that I had last Thursday, um, that is was like a, a trial for what they see as being potentially a car range, pale, and that was a pale ale. Oh, yeah. Preliminary, I can't fucking say this word. Preliminary flux. That's it. Uh, and that was that was really good. Flux, by the way, with an L. <laughs> yeah, <Pilemary flux>. fox. <laughs> yeah. oh. that's 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 how many yeah. these are the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so you know i mean i know what you mean though i mean um as much as i will always gravitate towards an ipa six six percent upwards yeah. to my detriment i mean this is one thing i'm learning um after, after a couple of weekends which is yeah. like you go out, for, go out for your walk. Get a bit, of, get a bit of exercise. Come in. It's been sunny out. Sit down in front of the telly. Three o'clock. Have some beer. <laughs> and yeah. Then... Just reset all the work you've done. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, look, you do that so you can do that. So it's it's inevitable. Exactly, really. Yeah. Um. So the weather does kind of absolutely play a uh, play a role in it. Just walking home today. Yeah. You when know, when I picked some beers up from the Triangle, um, my local. Beer shop, and um, they um, I, t- I took like a little bit of an extended route home so I could kind of uh, go a bit further, and uh, I ended up going popping into another off, li- off license, buy a couple of lagers. See, we're hot, weren't it? We're like, oh, lager, gonna yeah. need these at weekend, aren't I? So, um, <laughs> so it does definitely kind of like kind of m- mood sends you in those directions, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, definitely. These kind of lower ABV. Yeah, trying to balance out the the costs as well, because I'm finding myself on buying much more beer than I would do usually. Yeah, I went out with the intention to buy buy three, and I think I came back with nine. (laughs) Oh, there you go. (laughs) Um, Hopefully they'll they'll last. I'm going to try my best, but once you've had a you've had a couple, oh, what another one? Yeah, that's beer. Yeah, that that's beer you've got in the fridge that you save it. Yeah, yeah. You just pick it out of the fridge, pour it, <laughs> and then what you'll do that way. Like, oh, I haven't, food. I haven't put this in the fridge yet. I probably won't drink it tonight. I'll put it in the fridge. And then <laughs> next week, you know, three or four beers down, you discover, oh, I put that in the fridge, so I'll have it. Now. Mm. But yeah, I, mean, I don't. You bought, um, you bought this. I bought this um, kind of. 
back uh, from my local shop, which I'll check how much I paid, actually. I'm curious about how much I paid for it now. Um, but you got it part of a, uh, a bit of a bundle from Siren, didn't you? Yeah, it's part of their um, bright side boxes that they do, which I think it's just whenever they've got a couple of beers released that week, they'll put, obviously, the new beers in there, then mix up with some seasonal stuff, and then you'll get, like, you know, your sound wave and Yulu and stuff like that, which it's not a bad thing, really, because it's good, dependable beers. So, yeah, I'm not sure how quickly they do turn around because I know they've already got a new box because uh, oh, they've got the um, Tribe Called Zest included I in picked it. one of them up today. Very, nice. uh, very I, good I, things. I was watching the uh, oh, right. Siren tasting videos that they've started doing now. Oh, I've not seen that. On their YouTube channel. Oh, I didn't know about that. Yeah. I've checked that out. Yeah, and even Cloudwater are, are, are active now on YouTube. They've, they've uploaded a oh, few sort of like interviews they've done. Getting on YouTube, aren't they? <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, Maybe so we'll get doing... the respect we deserve now. Finally. <laughs> so this is <laughs> only doing three eighty a pop. I paid three nine nine. It's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, I'm sure they're chucking a lot of that. It? I mean, I'd, yeah, three is a fair price. I, I got three six nine. Just pluck that one out of there. Three fifty. Yeah. Three forty five. Three forty three. That's how much I want to pay for it. Three forty three pence. There you go. It's not quite. A pound, I can't remember it? if I got. Oh, go sorry, Rob. No, no, you go for it. I was going to say I can't remember how many beers I got in my box. I can't remember if it was eight or ten. But it was about 35, between 35 and 40 quid, and that's with the post included. And it came right. within uh, quite a quick time. So it's sort of so roughly you around get the bright the side price box, point. You say? You get the bright side box. Yeah. You got a v V9, this has got some V10s out now. 30 quid. So on that, what's in that? I mean, this, as I said, we did, we're not getting any. Keep back from Siren here. Yeah. Yet. <laughs> yeah. um, if, you ever, if you wondered what our intentions right. for this video is, just to scam a load of free beer out of Siren. No, yeah. Um, <laughs> I will graciously take any donations. <laughs> yeah, so oh, in that, there's two sound waves, two Santos. Which is a decent, it's a decent lager, that. Uh, I remember drinking yeah. that in a fantastic burger place in Birmingham, actually. Um, Yulu, Broken, Broken Dream, White Tips, Much Ado About Muffin. I recorded a review of that and I, I cancelled it today because it was shit. Uh, they, um, they got a can of this, can of Tribe, uh, tribe Called Zest, tried a re- can of Refractions, and a bundle of beer mats, which I've got a bunch of Siren beer mats, annoyingly at work, um, and I don't have any at home. And now I'm doing... Oh, All right. of my drinking at home, and they've got no fucking beer mats. How upsetting is that? You've got beer mats. Yeah, I think instead of beer mats, I got the uh, sound wave glass. So oh, I think nice. they change it up, what, like merch. Because I know, because I think there's actually been a box after the one that I ordered, if I remember correctly. Oh, really? Which had um, a siren bottle opener. Oh, like yeah. yeah. I do have, I've got, I've got siren glass as well. I think this was actually sent. No, yeah, I, don't have, I, don't have, I want one of those yeah. shirts. Yeah, this is clearly the wrong weather to buy them, but maybe the time of year to get a bargain off at Siren website. Those um, like lumberjack, like outdoorsy shirts. I think they're well nice. Oh yeah, I saw that. I was very tempted. I like. I do like Sirens uh, merch. And I, I've yeah. always liked Sirens artwork and how intricate it can be, and it, they've got a really good. Image and brand and Strong brand. sort of identity, I'd say. But they're just a brewery that every time I have a beer, nine times out of ten, I absolutely love it. But I just don't find myself buying regularly from them when I go they're, to bottle they're shops. Not the kind of, they're not the um, the trendiest um, kind of like pair of trainers at the moment, I guess, are they? Um, yeah. I mean, I think they're very, very good and the. the Pushing stuff out, they're not kind of like chasing um, chasing trends. I think they're kind of like quite quite 
comfortable within themselves to do what they do. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just looking at the merch. I like, I'm like liking what they do with the um, slightly glitch, glitchy kind of looking kind of versions of the main brand because the main brand's a bit more. But like, yeah. like a tote bag and a t-shirt, like a hoodie, which are kind of slightly <laughs> kind of like kind of like torn apart. They look quite nice. Once again, not the right right weather for a hoodie. <laughs> no, definitely not. Yeah, this is one thing. I keep looking at websites and think, looking at seeing T-shirts and thinking, oh, I love a, love a, oh, I love a track T-shirt, love a trust, uh, siren T-shirt, love a, this T-shirt, love a Northern Monk T-shirt. And I think, nobody's going to see me, so it <laughs> doesn't really matter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't matter what I look like, really. Put a nice T-shirt on for my YouTube video. That's all that matters. <laughs> exactly. I tell you what, I'm surprised that there's not been a website that does like just beer merchandise. Mm. But mind you, a lot of breweries just get their own stuff printed. Oh, at, I get that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it's sort of like when you can get like band t-shirts where you go on these websites where it's just different bands. It'd be interesting to see if that could exist with beer merch. Absolutely. I mean, just just make bootleg stuff like <laughs> like I did. Yeah. I did. Uh, I did. I mean, not going to in, in, incriminate myself too much, but I did make um, a kind of a bootleg one on a reputable kind of like website you know, where you can add your own graphics and stuff. Because mm-hmm. um, I tell, I sell like two T-shirts on there, and um, <laughs> but of my own design. But then I thought, I really, I saw somebody working in one of these breweries. Like, oh, that's I love that t shirt. He's like, Yeah, yeah, and I'm like, It's an old design. I'm like, Oh, bollocks. So I found the brewery's logo, um, and then made me own, but then never bought it and just left it kind of like hanging there. Somebody else bought one, <laughs> so I got a couple of quid oh, out of that one. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's been well, interesting if you bumped into some at uh, a festival. Yeah, mine's. I thought I knew. I thought it was a friend. Uh, I thought it was a friend who bought one, but I don't know if it, who it was. But yeah, maybe I'll bump into him and go, "Ha!" Huh. Because it won't have the little print on the back. It'll just have the one on the front. Uh-huh. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for the order. I've seen my other one, my uh, make make uh, make IPA great again T-shirt. Yeah, that, I've uh, seen the no, IPA, no, make IPA yeah. clear again. That was it, wasn't it? Um, yeah, clear again. Yeah. That I mean, I've seen pic- photographs of that. People at beer festivals with that on. I've never met someone wearing it, but um, get a lot of orders from America for that one. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I wonder why. <laughs> Anywho, I've done that. It's done. 22, yeah, done, 20, done 22 minutes with, with plenty of chat. I think with, with zero chat, you'd do it in about four minutes. God. Yeah, it's amazing how quickly you can drink beers like that. It's yeah, that kind of lower carbonation, I think, really works for it. Yeah, um, definitely. I, I, yeah, if, if I'm in the mood, if it's get, if it's daylight today, or I know some hot weather's kind of coming up, definitely would pick up some of that because it's got enough character. But they just they kind of like lovely drinking experience. I know you, you I know you, yeah. you have a, you have a complex um, relationship with Cask Ale, uh, but I think this is um, a, a good a good yeah. um, <laughs> a good. Interpretation of what kind of cask in a can can taste like. So I think they've done a lovely job with that. So that I is suspended in cans, and then that was it. Guile um, seventeen out one, and that was Sabro, Equinot, and uh, Brew Sabro. Room. Was that right? Yep. Mm. So that was the, that was the that was the kind of the the the. Um, yeah, that was the ease yourself in. Easy, easy, easy in situation. It. Next one is Shattered Dream Imperial Breakfast Stout, nine point six percent ABV. I had this oh, yes. when it first came out years ago, which was a bottle, probably back in the kind of days when when Ryan um, was the head brewer. And I don't know if, not to my knowledge, we've done it many times since. Um, um, I'm a big fan of I'm a big fan of Broken Dream. Um, yeah, Broken so Dream's lovely. I'll be, I'm going to be really interested to see how this p- 
pans out. So 9.6 on this one. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, what's it saying? Imperial Shrine for Generous Espresso Heat. Hit. That's going to keep me up all night. Um, cacao and herbs, vanilla. <laughs> oh, it's all sounding good, even even luxurious and more loved original. See, I think the base one is cracking, and I, I you can, I would buy it for one pound seventy five in Morrison's. It was um, yeah, broken dream. I even got it. I think yeah. it's I think it was badged up wrong, and I got it for one pound twenty five after a bit of negotiation nice. with the store manager. <laughs> like, oh, oh, <laughs> there's, any, there's confusion around this price price label. So, I'm on I'm on my break. Um, let's make the most of it. If I'm back slightly late, then my employers pay for this time. <laughs> Everyone, I'm, I'm just winning <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, nine point six. Can out with it looking lovely. I do like that kind of like kind of tonal. It kind of is quality. indeed. That. Very yeah. nice. Very nice. Right. Let's oh, get I've been open. excited for this one. Mm. Mm, oh, that's an encouraging start from the paw. Oh, it, does it, kind of look, it looks kind of nice and kind of velvety from the paw. Yeah, so before the head dissipates, which sh shouldn't dissipate too much because um, I think it's probably quite oat heavy with it being. Um, oh, I could imagine so. A breakfast stout. So there's a nice kind of like. What colour would you say is your head? You've got a bit more head than me. My head is, I'd say that's sort of going off um, the colour scales I have from work with the <laughs> levers we use. I'd say nice. sort of dark, bordering on dark tan or beige. Nice. I think, I think that um, the the leather colour um, sample from your your. Employers should become kind of like canon in the kind of beer reviewing community. Yes, it's like they kind of like, like there's that flavor wheel. So the, the le yeah, the, I'll just bring the one of our leather books. Yeah. <laughs> leather book could be something completely different. That, but oh, the beer, no. but the beer itself. Off channel. <laughs> but the beer itself, yeah. black as night. I mean, you're not going to get any darker than that. Yeah, definitely. It looks the business. It certainly does. It looks fantastic. I've been kind of proper trying not to smell it at all, or even kind of breathing through my nose near it. Just want it to be a nice surprise. So, shall we? Yeah. Let's give it a Ooh. sniff. Oh, that's nice. Oh, come on now. First thing, it's got it's got a real gap to it as well. But first thing I got was kind of like a, a caramel, maybe kind of salted caramel. Oh, that's got oh, that yeah. smells amazing. Mm. Oh, they've done such a good job just on the nose alone. <laughs> oh. I'm getting oh, getting oh. a quite big fudge, like a chocolate yeah. fudge. Oh, they're all over the place. Wow. Yeah. And I've got a little bit of hay fever, I think, at the moment, and uh, bloody hell, <laughs> yeah, all sorts of stuff going on. Not after this. No, I'm, just gonna, I'm telling you, you need, you need like a towel over it and then just honking in kind of like Imperial Snout. So are your sinuses. Yeah. You, know, you, you know, you're talking about Ponzi uh, beer notes on podcasts and stuff. Yeah. I'm getting I'm, the image of coffee with almond milk or almond milk. I've never so. heard almond milk, almond milk. Uh, I've never had Almond. it because uh, I think it sounds weird. It's not too so bad. How do you milk a nut? But um... <laughs> <laughs> but I, I do love that. I, I love. I mean, I'm, I'm not a nut eater. It's just not my sexual yeah. preference. <laughs> Come on now, yeah. please. I'm gonna be it. It's a Wednesday night. Come on. Come on. Let me let me have that. Sorry, I've lost I've lost three views straight away. Um. <laughs> but, yeah, bye bye. but I like, I mean, but I like um, kind of almond based stuff. I like marzipan. I like kind of, I love a frangipan. Oh yeah, and it's 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 got a kind of floral quality, but also that innately nutty kind of thing. Yeah, vanilla. It's the thing with when you get a nutty aroma on a beer, you don't get the flavour from like yeah. nutty beer. That, that's I'm just throwing that out there. 
completely unrelated to this bit, but starts off kind of like slightly milky, slightly and that kind of like caramel. Then it becomes a little bit more kind of roasty toasty. Yeah. Getting that kind of like more burnt edge of like the roasted barley. Get a, get a, I'm getting that like Yeah, I know. You'd... It's not cherry. See what you mean. Fucking cherry. No, thank fuck. It? It's not cherry. I've lost, I've lost five subscribers since that sexist comment. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now you've mentioned cherry and stuff. Oh, so no. they'll be, they'll be just on a decline now, now Rob. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah that's, that's you do one. get the coffee, but it it's not too in your face. No, you do get a bit, a little bit of booze. Yeah. Oh, it's got it's really, it's got, got, it's got a lot of length to it. I mean, I mean, I, I, you could say complexity, but I mean, I think it's it, everything just kind of like everything kind of, it kind of goes in waves. It, you get a bit of this, and then drop that drops out. You get a bit of this, and it, which is yeah. really unique. Yeah. It changes, mm. doesn't it? Yeah, down to nine. Smiles we're really we're gonna do to, I'll do some press ups. <laughs> <laughs> That's an injury. Yeah, That's an injury. <laughs> no one needs that. <laughs> <It's not there>. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> should we go for it? Cheers. Yeah, I think we should. Cheers, all. Mm. Oh, oh, my God. Man. Mm. Oh my word! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh my my! That my. is lovely. Mm. Mm-hmm. Buy oh. more of this, and that's for sure. <laughs> so, yeah. I always do this. I always be like, "Yeah, um, have a beer." How much is it? How much? How much they pay? I can't remember. I want more. I'll definitely buy more of this. So, and, yeah. and I get the feeling that this beer might get a little bit. I paid 5 so the siren probably a little bit cheaper. Probably. I'd imagine this is, could be selling on the shop for about four fifty nine, something like that. Oh, man. I don't know. I've not Look. actually seen it individually. We will get into we will get That's into the flavors in a moment. Yeah. You can go if you if, if you feel positioned to kind of kick out some um, tasting notes. Go for it. I'm just. I'm, I was just. I'm experienced. Gonna say, this is why. I'm, <laughs> this is why coffee in beer is to me becoming one of my just favourite mm. combinations, especially in imperial stouts like this. Nothing too insane. It's nothing too ridiculous. It's just a rarely well brewed imperial stout with just the right amount of inclusions of the, mm. the cacao, the coffee. I can feel like a Vanilla. like a sensation. <laughs> it's just like oh it's a lovely low yeah. sensation. You can breathe easy now. Yeah. Oh, the world just seems better as a result of this beer. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? <laughs> when you go in for that, when you, when you were talk about the fudgy thing, when you when you go for that first, even before you get it into your mouth, it's just it's hitting your tongue. You kind of, you're getting that kind of retro nasal thing as well. You're just like fudge, 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 fudge. Yeah, fudge. <laughs> mm. It's got. Yeah. It's one of those imperial stouts that it's not the thickest. It's not gloopy, although. How many times you rarely had an imperial stout that's like that? In all it's honesty, got a but good it's got real it. texture to it. It's, it do, it's got a really nice round body, and it's got a texture to it, mm. almost like um, it reminds you of when you make um, like a hot chocolate, but you use a bit too much of the powder, and you get that ever so slight granulated, like additional layer of flavour. Yeah, come through. Mm. Yeah, it's um. This is silly drinkable as well. This is flying down. This is it really, really is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's almost going down as easy as the suspended. 
Um, I snuck a, a, a can of the, um, the, uh, the the standard one into the cinema. <laughs> Surreptitiously. <laughs> What a bottle of punk. What a bottle of punk. So I've got a glass. Oh, nice. Stained everything. <laughs> stained my glass, stained the bag that I uh, scammed my glass. Oh, no, I brought gosh. a glass with me because I'm, 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 I think, forward. But yeah. And you may, as I said, I'm a big fan of the kind of standard beer. But this, this from what, from memory, as I was talking earlier about the bullshit qualities of kind of like flavor memory. I remember the first time having this and not being being a bit disappointed. This time, no, not disappointed at all. No, this is. Um, it's just exactly what you want from a coffee imperial stout. Well, a breakfast imperial stout. I've got. I, I, I love. We will get in some taste notes. I know we're still not. We're still kind of beating around the bush on this one, but. <laughs> um, yeah. But hold on. Get the good stuff in a bit. Um, uh, I've always I I used to love uh, Founders Breakfast Stout. Um, I mean, we don't get it over over in this country anymore. Which, well, apart from on, on certain websites, which I don't choose to support. Um, um, and I'm never that sure how kind of re- new it is. It's you know, it's been sitting around for ages. The coffee dropped yeah. away, and I've all I've kind of always kind of for a long time. I was trying to find a substitute. So I just couldn't find that beer. And then I did. I mean, I thought. Then I thought, yeah, yeah, Broken Dreams, pretty close. This is the closest thing I remember to found this breakfast out. It's probably on par. I mean, it's, yeah. it's clo- as far as experience as how as as far as enjoyment goes. Mm. Yeah, I'm buying two cans of this on Saturday. <laughs> One will not be. Enough. Oh, that don't blame me. This is gorgeous. Mm. Yeah. It's not as, uh, I mean, and on a hot day, I mean, it was. A, I think it's been much hotter than the my phone was, phone app was telling me. But. <laughs> and I mean, there's like that kind of idea of like, oh, you don't drink beers like this, like that, on days like this. Yeah, I'm perfectly happy drinking. I'm, I'm happy to. Yeah, I could happily have a. Day of Imperial st- well, I really would regret having a day of Imperial Stouts on a hot sunny day just because the next day I'm going to be out of commission, but <laughs> you just can't go wrong with a beer like this. No matter what time of year it is, no matter what temperature it is. Yeah. Because I've... I, it's just uh, tasted so good. Uh, so I've had this in the fridge and then I took it out um, about... Ah, 20 minutes before we started this, so then we were, we were on the first beer for about 20 minutes. So it's been out for about 40 minutes before I cracked into mine, and it was perfect temperature for me. Yeah. And I don't mind drinking this kind of thing found, a little bit cooler. Yeah, I, I've always found that you get a sort of um, a slight like dairy milkiness when uh, an Imperial style has been chilled down a little because um, you, you, you do sometimes lose that sort of like a roasted malt character in some of the um, other sort of nuances. But a lot of the times I've had, uh, especially like, um, I always mind you when I went to, to Brewdog for the Yellow Belly event that they were doing, um, mm-hmm. where they, were, they had it on tap. And that was like just as cold as the IPAs they're having. Yeah. And you were drinking it and it was like, I think because they had all that those additional ingredients put into the beer it lends itself to that dairy character but I don't know, I, I, I don't get too upset if I've got an imperial stout that's a little bit cooler than uh, what people <coughs> usually suggest you go with yeah, no I, I agree, I mean sometimes I think you're going too cold, I think it can become a little bit over simplistic I mean it just, you get, you get less kind of nuance yeah I remember being in California and everything's everything's either out of a fridge or, or, or on kegs, so everything was super cold and you'd have to like warm up before you could really enjoy it. But um, I think, yeah, straight from a normal fridge, I think you'd be all right with this. So we, shall we dig in some, some action? Oh, yeah, definitely. I've, I've even pulled some more. I'm going to finish this before. We... I, think, I think we should. I think we should. Oh, uh, I've, I've got actually, that left. Notes. Really? Is that all you've got left? 
yeah, it's just I do I do sometimes get worried at how quickly I can uh, drink beers. <laughs> this ABV. This could this would fly down if I if I wanted it to. Anyway, so let's actually give some tasting notes then. Yeah, let's have a proper taste. First thing, dark chocolate, dark chocolate for me, and caramel. I'm going to say just yep. straight up caramel because I think it's. I'm a bit tired of fucking salted ca- everything being salted caramel. I love salt. I love caramel. Yeah, but um, it's just straight up caramel. You, and a, you a just don't have to do it all, all the time. Yep. No, no, that's the first things I get. What about you? It's like. It's like caramel that you've made that you've left in just a tiny bit longer than you'd uh, usually like. I would say. So it's a little yeah. bit darker. A little it's bit not, yeah, because it's not full-on kind of molasses, Roasted. that type of thing. I've got that kind of like big. It tastes a bit mm-hmm. sticky. You know, it's a bit sticky on the, on the lips. Yeah. Oh, definitely. You had a bit of kind of like hazelnut wafer knocking around in there. Vanilla. That's kind of like in the mid... Yeah, the vanilla stuff. In the mid there. palate. <laughs> yeah, in the mid part of your tongue. <laughs> About 2.4 seconds into your drinking experience. Uh, 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 <laughs> yeah. Right in the fucking middle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know about you, but in terms of that, like, coffee character, I'm almost getting, like, um, a slight unroasted, slightly green coffee bean character, almost. You know a bit more about coffee than me. Uh, I kind of, like, I can get, uh, I kind of know, co- I can get a few kind of, like, coffee characters in, like, distinctive ones in beers, um, and I know exactly the kind of ones I like. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm not, I don't have the nuance to kind of ones. I, I, I get like somewhat a bit more nutty, somewhat might be a bit more f- berry forward, uh, but I mean for me this yeah. is kind of like it's it's gonna it it's kind of more that heavy roast kind of like when you think of coffee flavored things, it's that but kind of amplified. It's um, it's kind yeah. of affogato esque. It's the kind of sweeter uh, um, Italian style, which is just a it's a bit more kind of like. It's less nuanced. It's just a bit of a burnt chocolatey. I don't know. I don't know how to fully put it together because it's because it's just kind of when you think. Of, I think of coffee. I think of that kind of thing. But you, you, know, you, you I know what yeah. you mean about the green things. I've had stuff which is used green coffee beans. Um, so I, I kind of get that. Yeah, you can get a little bit of it, but you're, you're, you're I think your taste is a lot more in tune to that than mine. It, it, it when I opened when well. When it, it did have that impression of when you get coffee beans and you open the like sealed bag that they come in and you'd sort of get that slight like earthy mm. I don't want to say min- mineral esque but I always think of that word this sort of like vegetative almost character from the very like core like, sort of coffee bean mineral character coffee. Yeah, minerality. But then again, I'm smelling this, and for some reason, I'm being too. We've just got minerally, shouldn't we? Like a mashed. Yeah, I'm the rules. You minerally, put yeah. On, put a Y on the end of a word. Yeah. <laughs> a bit minerally. Or if you want to sound posh, mineral esque. Bit, yeah. bit coffee. <laughs> yeah, coffee. But then again, I'm, I'm taking a sniff now, and for some reason, I'm getting the smell of a like avocado, like a. There's a real ripeness to it, like a real. I, I get don't know. A, I, see, I get a hint it's of one smoking. That... I get a hint of smoking flavour towards the back end. And I get a hint of yeah. smoking. The... I'm, 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 I think I know what you mean with the avocado. I had never gone there, but, um, but I'm, from the aroma, well, it, it's that same now you've put that thought in my mind. <sighs> you've put that in my mind. Smoke. <laughs> now you've put that ridiculous what, idea. Of what a smoked avocado! avocado. Smoked avocado. Hey, I love a bit of baba ganoush. I'll be, I'll be, that's what we need. Baba ganoush box. Go. I like a um. What's that? What's the baba ganoush box? <laughs> what's that? I don't remember. What's the kind of phrase that 
something that, that sounds like it reads like it sounds. I don't know. Anyway, my fun one. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, this is in a nutshell. Pat, well, it's, a, it's all about the, it's the blue smaller. band. Blue, blue band. Pat, it was a parking porter. Yes, the blue band. Have a ganoush bo- book. Like, um, yeah. whatever, that, whatever that term is. If you're out there, send it in on uh, Santa's reference postcard yeah. to this address. <laughs> <laughs> and if you actually do send a postcard, I'll be very worried because how the fuck did you get either of our addresses? But. I we'll just, yeah, that, that bridge before, one, yeah. before we um, before we kind of um, sign off before the end of this, I just uh, I will go through the comments that we've had, but I just want to uh, jump on one what's just popped up a minute ago from Lucy, who's um, one of the um, uh, people who I know who works at Siren, and um, she's ah, just yeah. put avocado question mark exclamation mark. It's not on me. That's on that's on that's on that's on, that's on that guy. No, that, 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 that's totally on me. Just think about it. I don't it, know where I got that one, but think just very think about avocado. avocado. Next time you have one, avocado. Ah, yeah, 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 I know what you mean. Ah. Yeah. Think about it. Peter should be doing these videos yeah, when, you, on your, when you're making on your, 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 your YouTube channel. <laughs> How appealing When you're making guacamole. Avocado. <laughs> when you're making family. guacamole, and then you realise, shattered dream in my avocado. That's what the guy on the internet said. How yeah. more reliable can you get than the guy on the internet? Gary YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't put it on the channel. <laughs> yeah, Gary YouTube. <laughs> I, watch your, I watch your channel and, and, and they kind of refer to each other as Gary YouTube. Another, I'm, a, I'm Gary YouTube and this is another Gary YouTube. <laughs> what have you been doing today, Gary YouTube? <laughs> Might just steal that. <laughs> yeah, yeah but yeah, it's got that kind of like crisp. It's got a bit of brown sugar. Um, if we're going to veer away from the avocado, <laughs> she says, "I'm not convinced, lads." Yeah, for, for. I'm to go buy an avocado and drink the beer. <laughs> I'd say slightly overripe. You don't want to. You don't want to underripe them. You don't want a hard one. Yeah, definitely over. It. No, no. Unless and you're slicing it, it then that's I cut okay. It, but... And I'd leave it to go a little bit brown, and then I think that's the characteristic. <laughs> yeah, if we're, we're going to really dial this shit in. It smells like a... Yeah. I'm getting <laughs> I'm a just... two days of a slice no. avocado. 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Unfri- unrefrigerated. No, 45 yeah. minutes. Room temperature, I'm avocado, freshly sliced. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm just expecting... Um... <laughs> Lucy's um, Instagram story tomorrow going, what are you fucking on about, you idiots? Yeah, avocado. <laughs> avocado, you have a word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's, it's wonderful. It's everything I want. It's everything I want from a coffee. Everything I want from a stout. Because I, I mean, yeah. as you were saying earlier on, yeah. you're a big fan of like coffee and stouts. And besides, kind of like, Hopped up IPAs. I like coffee stouts. They're like my second favorite, mm. and, um, and I don't get enough of them. And at the moment, I really don't get enough of them. So seeing yeah, this same. as good as it is, it's like I've got to buy more. I've just got to. I've, I've, I've yeah, just got to have I need to pick that up a option. Few I just have an option uh, after a couple on a next week when the weather gets a little bit colder. Might have had a couple. Might be a Sunday night, Saturday afternoon in my case. Get six o'clock ready for bed. Yeah. <laughs> Have one of them. Yeah. And oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's. It, I think that's absolutely fantastic. I mean, uh, it it will ruin you. It will make you um, r- regret the night before. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Just especially if you buy a multiple multiples of this. I see a lot Jesus, of breweries that, doing that, kind of like, like cases. Pack wouldn't last long. Oh no! Yeah. Jeez. I think I could have a good go at a full I mean, pack. If, if this was on mini keg, then that's irris- that would be very irresponsible of the brewery I'd, to make such things available. It would be terribly people. irresponsible. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, that's, no, this that's, is just yeah. 
I mean, I, I love. I mean, to me, this is. I love Imperial Macchiato from um, from Wild. I think it's a little bit more. I think it's a bit more complex than that. Slightly lower ABV, but I mean, as good as each other. Yeah, I mean, and, and that was my my beer yeah. of the year. Of the year. I mean, yeah. Excellent stuff. I mean, this, this to me is. It's pretty much in the same territory as like the best examples of the Beer Geek series. Oh yeah. Absolutely. I'd say more. If not, it surpasses uh, a lot of the variations. Oh yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I mean I think they're gonna be a great breakfast and, and brunch. I think they're great beers, big brunch weasel, I think they're great beers. Um yeah. I've not had one for years, but um yeah. Absolutely. It's up there. This and this will be a beer that people will just people will pass over because it's not the right time. Exactly. Year, right? I, I was just, I was just thinking that it's a terribly underrated beer for the situation we find ourselves in. Yeah, no, and it's I a real that. shame because this is one of the best imperials that I've had for a, a good little while. Mm. Not that mm. I've had many, of course. No, it's mainly being about like IPAs and tails, but. Yeah, I picked up a, a kind of common ground today. As you picked up a mini keg <laughs> yesterday. A mini keg, was, yes. Was coming, it tomorrow. Today? Was it coming tomorrow. It's Just coming time tomorrow. For the, for the, um, you know, it, like the tropical climates of the bank holiday. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm going to try my best not to pop it open tomorrow. But it's the fact that I've got a little mini keg of common grounds just sitting there and opened up like no, no, you don't need to. You don't need to. Get rid of the stuff you've got in your in your fridge. See, yeah. yeah, and you see that's a more I'd say you know, I know it's a much lower A B V beer and a lot, and a lot more straightforward kind of like um flavor pro, profile. I, I did a side by side of uh, battle beers. I did a between those two and that and much yeah. to my surprise, um, Broken Dreams did uh, Broken Dreams did come out on top for me in that one. I just think it's just got a little bit of nuance. I love Common Ground, and I completely went on that website yesterday, and um, with the intention of like, ah, if they got one, I'll have one. They didn't; it were all gone, and because I, th- I think I'll just drink it in no time, and then because it's like, hey, it's there in it, Whee! it's just fun. <laughs> yeah, it's just that, 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 that. No. Because I've got so I, I've got so little caffeine kind of intake. I don't drink tea. I don't drink coffee. Um, I'd be like, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna sleep for a week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I'll develop superpowers. Yeah. You're just carrying the keg around with you all the time. <laughs> so I'll just need a bit of a top up. Have you system. not sipped any of the beer in your glass? It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Just under your arm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I'm, I, I love these. Kind of beers. Yeah. Yeah. As much as like, I always go on about like citrus infused IPAs, from my favourite sort of beer, but stuff like this, just when you get it, just completely knocks away any other sort of like styles like you're really into. Yeah. But yeah. it's it's definitely the one thing I was worried about with this beer was I'd overhyped it to myself a bit too much. But it's just it's just delivered. It's just delivered exactly what I wanted mm. and what I was expecting. Yeah, I guess it's because I think I, I I'd had a, a previous iteration of it years ago. A bit like, huh? Don't remember that. I remember that being a little bit underwhelming um, in comparison to the its kind of little brother. Mm-hmm. And um, this is not. And this time it's not. It's just it's absolutely spanking. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Didn't as, not last yeah. long. No, I've got that much left. Good, it's going to be a good night. How much have you got left? Hey, he's got even less. So I've, got, <laughs> I've got, I've got the uh, the lacing to enjoy. Oh, oh well, uh, I think well, it'd be rude not to. Mm. I'm going to have two two sips of it though because oh. um, exactly. I'm going to I'm going to savor every second. Mm. Should I um? Couple more um, comments from Lucy um, from Siren saying uh, found the uh, found it alarmingly drinkable for the ABV. It's just popped up. We need to hang tight for barrel aged versions. Ooh, barrel aged versions. 
That sounds really good right now. Heaven Hill. Heaven Hill bourbon barrels. I just put loads yeah, of fucking heaven. vanilla in it and just make it silly. But no, I think it's but it's perfect yeah. the way it is. That's the thing. It's one of those, yeah. it's one of those situations where kind of like bar, does barrel aging then just take away bits that you kind of what you love about? Because I think it is perfect. I think it's yeah. pretty damn perfect for me personally. I mean, I've just literally made a sound that made me excited for barrel aged versions. But a lot of the time, when I see like a like a bourbon barrel aged version of an imperial stout. A lot of times I'm just like, ah, it thins the beer down slightly. I get this potentially get sort of ethanol cool. whiskey flavor. But um, yeah, it, as long as I keep this going, I'd mm. be very much happy. In an ideal world, seasonal but, uh, release. I know. Seasonal release for me is this that, one. Is Absolutely, I yeah. think this should be every year. Um, yeah, they've they've got to keep this going. Yeah, maybe not May. <laughs> I think they'll sell a lot more of it if it was yeah. like November. Uh, but I mean, Simon makes some great dark beers. I've still got a bottle of the uh, Dark and Perilous Nights in the in the fridge, which is um, waiting to be open one day um, after lockdown ends. Yeah. Not to be shared, I think. But I've heard great things about that. But this is absolute. That's, that's world class shit. Is that? That is absolutely on the button. I love it. It, is, it certainly is. Yeah, yeah. We've banged on about that for first beer. 20 like 22 minutes. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's good beer. And I thought, oh, it's quite a long time for that beer, but we've done that one in about 32 minutes, and that's significantly bigger. There we go. An absolute the minutes speak joy. for themselves, absolute joy, <laughs> incredible. Beer. But yes, so big thanks to Peter for joining me for this. Um, uh, I, may, I may remind you in the morning, thank you for you know, having me. I, I'm, I'm kind of like. Oh, well, I had that Imperial Stout, and then I had seven more. Hooray! <laughs> and then it all went. Yeah. I stayed up all night. And um, I got in a fight with my next door neighbours because it could be noisy. Like, yeah, exactly. I'm all hyped up. I'm all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, no, this is it, is. it is. That's. Yeah. That's one of the best beers I've had this year. Absolutely storming. Yeah. Lovely. Oh, Glad you could join me for this one, buddy. And, Very um, much agree. Thanks oh, to everybody who's, who's tuned in this evening, and thanks to everybody who watches this after the fact. And if you've not got it into your head, buy some of that beer, it's fucking great, mate. Yeah, buy it. Anyway. Buy six pack. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> Cheers. See you all later. Cheers.